Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. I'm Mary Winkenwerder. According to the National Institute of Muscular Skeletal Arthritis and Skin Disease, acne can be irritated by many factors such as hormone levels, oil from skin products, the environment, and stress. While these factors are proven aggravators of acne, there are many myths about skin care and acne breakouts. Joining us this episode is Master Esthetician Crystal Wellman, owner of the Crystal Clear Acne Clinic, to share with us more about the truth behind these skincare myths. Crystal, welcome to Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. Thank you so much for having me again. <laughs> it's great to have you join us. All right, so one myth that um, that is that that loomed around me for most of my life, or much of it, I would say, is that oily skin does not need a moisturizer. Does oily skin need a moisturizer? It absolutely does. And and the reason why is if you have oily skin, you're probably lacking some water moisture. Um, so you know, a lot of my clients come in with acne. They are typically oily. Um, they usually are really dehydrated. They're using really harsh products. They're not giving that skin the hydration that it needs. And what happens is if your skin is dehydrated, your skin's actually going to produce more oil because it wants to keep that constant balance on the skin. So definitely try to find a non-comedogenic moisturizer and that would be a non-pore clogging moisturizer. Um, and one that's acne safe, non-comedogenic is definitely one that you want to look for. But absolutely, oily skin needs a moisturizer. Gotcha. Okay, and something else, an urban myth that I've heard since I was a little girl. Um, toothpaste is a good spot treatment for a pimple, yes or no? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Negative. <laughs> so, okay. We love toothpaste. We love that it foams up in our mouth, gives us that nice clean feeling, but that foaming ingredient is typically a sulfate. And what sulfates do is they're going to irritate and clog the pore. Mm -hmm. So you might get that immediate drying of that pimple or breakout, but really it's infusing all those bad ingredients into the follicle, so you're going to have problems later on. So we definitely don't want to use toothpaste. <laughs> right. um, what we what would be so much better is to actually ice the, um, the acne lesion. Now icing reduces the inflammation, it reduces you know all that swelling, and helps it to heal a lot faster. That's amazing. Okay, so no toothpaste, ice. Correct. <laughs> okay, great, got it. All right, and another myth, um, SPF will make me break out. No, now the actual SPF ingredient will not make you break out. Okay. Um, definitely if you're acne prone or oily, you want to look for a zinc or titanium, um, titanium based mm -hmm. um, SPF. Um, you know, it, the SPF again does not make you break out, but it's a lot of time the other ingredients that are in that SPF product. So you want to look for a non-comedogenic um, SPF, and it's just, you know, if you're acne prone, it's going to help to keep those acne lesions from becoming permanent. So SPF is not bad, and it will not make you break out as long as you avoid those non uh, these uh, pork logging ingredients. Gotcha. Okay. So mm -hmm. I love my gadgets. I love my beauty gadgets. I, you know, I'm, I'm also at the point where I can't live without them because I like them so well. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> scrubs and motorized facial brushes clear up my acne. They will not. 
They will do the opposite. They will do the opposite. The okay. thing is, you know, acne starts in the follicle. It's not because your skin is dirty. So forget all those myths. Um, the problem is inside the follicle. And if you, especially if you have inflammatory acne, any type of manipulation, whether it be, you know, a rotarized brush or a facial scrub, that's actually going to aggravate it and make the condition worse. So mm -hmm. we don't want to do any type of scrubbing on the skin if you have inflammatory acne. Okay, and mm -hmm. this breaks my heart, the next one, uh, myth, junk food will not make my acne worse. Well, I would have to say if the junk food does not contain iodides, that is true. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, there's, there's definitely things we want to avoid. Those, those high salt foods will make okay. it worse, but a lot of times it's the sugar that, okay. you know, it can cause inflammation, but that's not going to make you break out as much as the saltier food, foods will. Um, but, you know, junk food's bad for the body, so then, you know, whatever's happening in our gut is going to show up on our skin. So we really do want to avoid it, obviously. Um, but it's not like, I'm going to eat this, and then it's going to make me break out. <laughs> okay. Typically, that doesn't occur. So, all right. So, Crystal, if somebody wanted to connect with you directly to discuss any of these myths, how can they contact you? Well, we have a lot of ways to be contacted. Um, we do have a really great website with a lot of acne information. It's um, crystalclearacneclinic.com. Um, we're also on Facebook. We are on Twitter, Acne Free for Life. And, of course, you can give us a call. Fantastic. Crystal, thanks so much for joining us. It's been great having you on the show. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Catch up with me on my blog, www.beautybeautereport.com, and on Twitter, at Beauty Publicist. Everyone, thanks so much for joining us on Ultimate Skin Care and Beauty Report. Have a beautiful and successful week. <laughs> hey.